I really like my Helix. I like it a lot, but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. And here's the reason why. Shh, my dog's making a noise. The reason I'm getting rid of it is kind of twofold. I want to expand beyond what is in the Helix. <laughs> I want to expand beyond what's just in the Helix. I have some long-term plans for a pedal board and I want to be able to build it. However, my big issue is I rely on it on the Helix a lot. I've got a bunch of effects from the pat last time that I played and ignore the, the naming scheme there that was it was a new song I hadn't played before. You can see there's a lot of stuff all in line here. We've got volume pedal, distortion, uh, wah, filter, distortion, distortion, compressor, impulse response, oh that's the amp right there, uh, delay, EQ, flanger I think, flanger, yeah, and a couple of other little ambient things that I use off and on. This is I believe both of the DSPs on the Helix are almost maxed out, and I love using it this way. I'll be honest, the main thing that I bought the Helix for was for the amp modeling, and now I've moved on. The amp modeling is really good, but there's a lot of other things out there, like the two notes La Base, that is on my purchase list, and my new amp modeler. This is the Fender Rumble Studio 40. It's a 40 watt. It also does digital amp modeling. You can see right here, it's got the Super Bass Man, which just so happens to be my go-to normal amp. It's my favorite amp. It's been the best amp that I've had so far. And this will model it for me when I don't want to bring that with me and I can just set the master volume down to zero and I've got an effective amp modeler. It's also got some effects modeling, it's got a reverb, uh, it's got cab modeling built in as well, so really, really useful. So I've still been using the Helix with this for a little while, just using it for the effects stuff. But I also wanna buy some more effects pedals. I wanna buy some real specific boutique ones. Back up, back, back. I, I don't need you in the, in the shot, dog. Other way. Back, back up, back up, back up. My dog wants to be in the shot. The amp modeling specifically. There's very specific models on there. If they have the model that you want, you need to recognize that my dog is gonna get in the way. What I'm gonna say about the amp models on the Helix is that if you like a specific amp, is it sounds close, but it doesn't sound exactly like the amp. Uh, I've played on a 400 plus by Mesa, and then I played the amp, the model version. It doesn't sound exactly like that, but it sounds really close. It sounds like a boutique version of that same amp. Now I know that they, they name them different things for copyright reasons, but in reality, I think that's the best way to look at it. Is it it's a similar amp, but different. I love them. They, it's part of what drove me to discover some of the things that I've discovered over the years. I've you know, made me want to check out a 400 plus, made me want to check out and end up finding the Super Bassman was the perfect amp for me. Uh, what I've been using for the past little while, ever since I got this, was the Twin, the uh, U US Double Norm, which is based off of a Dual Showman. But when I got the modeling amp and I actually could model the Super Bassman, not 100%, it's, it doesn't sound like a real tube amp, but for certain scenarios where I don't want to bring a gigantic tube amp with me, it's really, really close. Using the DI out, you've got an effective setup. Now the problem is, I sold this. It actually is going to be shipping off today. Uh, matter of fact, I can take my pick holder off now. I downgraded. This is the HX effects. Um, it only does like nine effects at a time. Um, that's their limitation. It doesn't do amp modeling at all, but it is designed to sit on a, an, existing pedal, pe bleh, an existing pedal board. I needed to get this because I have to get back up and running pretty quickly. Um, yes, I can play without effects pedals, but I like playing with effects pedals. I've already got a couple of pedals on order. I sold that. 
bought this, I bought the modeling app a couple, actually may have just been a month ago, because it released in March. That's kind of what set everything in motion, because if that's doing all of my amp modeling, most songs I don't use more than nine effects on. You saw my you saw my board a little bit. It was, a lot of stuff was there, so I could turn on, but that was kind of like my default board. I won't have that luxury here to have just a bunch of effects all set up and ready to go, but I know how I want to set it up and use it for each song. And by selling that and buying this for about half the cost, I have some money left over to start building my pedal collection. I have not opened it. I've had this for three days now, and I haven't opened this yet. I was saving this for you guys. And you can see there's a wonderful rip already in it. Thanks, Guitar Center. I don't have my knife on me. I have an effective knife. This is how guitar players open things. Nine volt DC power supply. Take a look at it, how, how big it is, I don't know. So for non-Americans, they have quite the selection of power choices. There we go. That's it. Wow, so actually a lot smaller than I thought it was. It's a little awkward though. Now for the main event. Oh. That's it. Wow. So about I, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it half the power only because there's I believe there's only one DSP in here. So it's technically half the power, but it's kind of less because you're also limited on how many effects you can use. Um, but that's really small. This is gonna be weird. I have to play with this tomorrow. I actually have to play with this tomorrow. I gotta get it set up tonight for use. That's gonna be weird. That is my story. I love the Helix so much, I bought another one, but I'm actually selling the first one. If you wanna hear some sound samples, um, I'm going to put a video right here. Here? I don't, I, don't, I don't have a reference point of scale. I'm gonna put a video right here. This is me using the Helix um, amp modeling. This right here is going to be me using my Fender Bassman mic'd, and then I'm gonna put one right here. This is not out yet, but coming soon, there's going to be a video with me using this as my amp modeler. So if you wanna hear the difference in amp modeling, and this is going to be hitting my board soon, and you're gonna to get to check out what all I add to the board coming over the next couple of months. This is our new series. What did I call it? My Ugly Gear. Look forward to more stuff about more pedals because this is not the last pedal I'm buying. This is the one that initiates me buying all the others. I'll see you guys hopefully in the next couple of weeks with a new cover. Take care.